Spears Computer World here with the Magix UCAS software for your desktop. With this uh, software, it allows you to do game casting. So for you PlayStation 4, Xbox One lovers who use Twitch, you'll be able to kind of show your gaming online. Uh, for your screencasters, you'll be able to share your screen, like to do tutorials, uh, how-to videos. And then if you want to live cast any um, event that you may be hosting, you'll be able to connect with your viewers via YouTube or Twitch or any of those services in real time. So first, some housekeeping. You'll want to ensure that, number one, that you have all of your settings, your global settings set. You'll want to make sure that you are comfortable or satisfied with your audio and video so you might want to go with standard definition high definition or full high definition want to make sure that you have the right microphones connected if you may have any an external microphone other than the one that's built into your laptop or desktop and then your webcam as well you may have some other sort of video source and you'll be able to kind of drop down here and select that source for your output it's one thing to be key to note here that you'll have a local file in which you can select between any one of these features here for the sake of this tutorial I'll show you um, how to save your screencast or your your screen sharing uh, through the local file here and then I'll show you how to live stream via YouTube here shortly so let's get uh, started with the uh, screencast now with Gamecast I won't go over that in this review but maybe in a later time once I get a Twitch account set up I'll do that but for the sake of this review I want to focus on two things that I like are the screencast and the live cast currently I'm using a screencasting software other than the Magix Ucast to show you what this software can do so let's go to the screencast some things to note here you're able to add a background of your choice you're also able to add some tray items that you'll be able to access uh, during the filming of your screencast, if you will. So that's just one thing to do. But I'm going to keep it basic for those of you who are beginners. And maybe I'll go back later for some of you who are interested in something more advanced. I'll go and show you what you can do with those tray menu items. So let's go live. As you can see, in order to get this screen screencast started, I have to hit the push push this button to start. So I'm here live now. I'm gonna go here, just kind of do some things here, just to kind of mess around here. And now I'm gonna stop this. One thing to note here is your file path, which you'll select. Um, and choose so make sure that you remember where you chose to put your videos I chose to put mine in the UCAS folder since I'm using the UCAS software so I'm gonna hit save here next to verify that that project or that video or that screencast was saved I'm gonna go to that destination it's in my videos and as you can see from the folder that it's there and then I'll be able to replay that little short snippet that I played so after the break, I'll show you how to use the live cast and what you need to be able to set that up to connect to the live to the U to the YouTube streaming service. So we're back. One thing you'll need to do here is go to your settings. And next, what you need to do is go to your YouTube and then hit save. But before we do that, if you don't have your YouTube streaming key in, you'll need to click register. What register will do is just simply take you to your YouTube page. Now, a few were on the home screen on YouTube. I'm going to show you how to get to the place where you can get your stream key. You'll need to go and hit the icon in the top right corner. You can hit the little gear for the YouTube settings. Then view additional features. On the left hand side, you'll see live streaming. You'll want to click that. Next, you'll want to kind of scroll down toward the bottom to encoder setup. Next, you'll hit reveal. 
I won't reveal uh, my stream key because anybody will be able to use that stream key. But what you'll want to do is click reveal, then copy and paste that where you have the YouTube um, YouTube wording here. And once you do that, you'll be able to hit save. Then we'll be ready to do the live cast. And so as you can see, here I am. And so you're able to kind of load up some things here in the tray. And I'm going to attempt to just load up some media here. Um, let's see what I have. This is like a fairly new laptop I have. So I don't have much on here. So you can maybe add that media. Okay, so that's there. I'm just going to go ahead and go live. I'm going to press this button. And then to be able to access the, the things from the tray, I'll be able to go here and do this. Okay. And, it, and it's showing my video there. And so I'll be able to kind of, you know, talk here on the live stream and then show that. Now, now that that's finished, it, it's gone away. Now, one thing I want to show you here is you'll be able to go to YouTube now, and it's showing you that you are uh, streaming and that you have a, a great streaming health. And so here I am now live streaming doing this video. And so that's one cool thing if you don't want to have to go through trying to find, I guess, the right type of software or type of uh, vendor that will allow you to stream on YouTube. UCast is a perfect solution to allow you to go and connect your YouTube and UCast together and stream and do some cool things. So one thing that I want to be able to do in the future is I want to be able to uh, do some how-to videos on some of the more advanced uh, things here. And what I'm going to do is just go to the main menu here. And I'm I want to be able to show you some how-tos and maybe I'll show you know show you how to do the game cast uh, feature that we didn't cover here and so magic's ucast allows you to um, show your game cast of your video gaming uh, screen it allows you to do screen capture which allows you to do how-to videos tutorials and much more and then live streaming where you can connect with your viewers um, where they can see what you're up to what your business or you may just do a live cast on just connecting with your viewers so that's a pretty cool feature here and so this is Spears Computer World signing out be on the lookout for our review on our website at SpearsComputerWorld.com and this video will be on YouTube and please leave a comment for your questions that I'll try to answer this is Spears Computer World signing out